growing salad in boxes under cover through the winter. Here I'm picking some plants which I sowed in September. This is Cherville and I planted them in these boxes in October. Now it's November. This is coriander here and I can do a first pick of these little plants which will survive all winter. Barring the exceptional circumstance of a minus 15 centigrade frost. But most winters these plants survive. They can freeze, they're frost hardy down to a certain point. This is salad rocket and it's a way of having a nice few leaves, not a huge number, but enough to be very worthwhile in the middle of winter, of many different flavours, which you can just keep picking over quite a long period. So there we have Rocket, Coriander, Cherville, and then in other trays here I have some lettuce, which I can pick the outer leaves off on a repeat basis, and some mustards. So now we're 12 weeks later and these plants have survived through the winter almost to the end and still going. In fact I've been harvesting every two weeks or so. It's now 11 days since the previous harvest and you can see how I'm taking leaves off the outside of these Grenoble Red lettuce and they have been the biggest yielders of leaves so far. These lettuce are always remarkable. Look at that, for filling up the bowl, that's only 11 days since they were last picked. Here's some coriander, which, because it's going in salad, I'm just taking off some of the stem as I harvest it. And this has been cropping very nice and reliably, likewise every two weeks. The total harvests from these boxes in the time since mid-November has been 600 grams of leaves. That's um, in pounds, that's about one and a half pounds I think. So a really worthwhile amount. In Britain, in money terms, that would come to around um, £1.50 for 100 grams, so a good £10 worth, if not more, of leaves. But really it's not about the money, it's about having super fresh, tasty, nutritious leaves ready whenever you want them, because these boxes just sit here all the time, unheated greenhouse. This is Cherville, by the way, which has beautiful aniseed flavour, and I came in here this morning and the boxes, the plants were all frozen. So, you know, this is, these plants are used to winter, they're not afraid of some cold. And on any sunny day with a bit of warmth, they put on a growth spurt and then go a little bit dormant again when it's cold and frosty. This is salad rocket. Here we have the mustards. So with all of these plants, the main method is to take off outside leaves, not use a knife. That means you get quicker regrowth. And usually, particularly with rather leggy plants like these mustards, after I've picked the leaf, I like to take all the leaf off the plant because that keeps it tidier, makes the next picking easier. But I do then just twist off the lower bit of stem I'm putting that in the compost bucket as I go. This is the hottest mustard, it's um, called Piso, well the hottest of these three, and it's a bit like eating horseradish in a nice way. So there we are, I've done all I want to pick, one more little leaf there, and you can see now these plants are have been gently pruned, that's That'll be another two weeks or so until the next pick, and I reckon there's quite well over 100 grams of leaves there. Mm. 
So I've washed the leaves, given them a rinse, brought them in the house and just tipping them out here. And after weighing, I was pleasantly surprised. I must say there's 180 grams of leaves there from those three little trays. And that's about six ounces. Quite enough for a few, le a few meals. It is now the 10th of March. Spring is coming and you can see the difference in the growth of these leaves. It's 10 days since I picked them. I last picked them last day of February and the last pick was 100 grams. It wasn't a huge one. The leaves were still quite small and one can really see the difference in salad leaves from the same plants at this time of year as the days grow longer. So I'm using the same method on the same lettuce. These are the lettuce which I started picking last November. Grenoble red and they're still going. Fantastic variety for picking like this over winter. So there we have six leaves. That's six leaves of lettuce have grown from that plant in the last 10 days. Just to give you an idea. And I'm going to put these in a bucket and weigh them up at the end to find out the running total of the pick over the winter, which so far is 1.1 kilos. That's two and a half pounds of leaves already from these trays with no feeding apart from what was in the initial compost. So that's the lettuce. To give you an idea, here's some chervil still. So the way I'm doing that for salad, just taking off the um, little fronds to eat and then coriander similar the coriander is actually really like this winter we have had to, to give you the context we've had a, a milder than average winter here um, some frost these have frozen but not as cold as it might have been and in terms of putting coriander in the salad there's actually more coriander here than I want for the salad mix because it's quite a strong flavor so I'm going to pick some in a minute as well to make a bunch for um, cooking with and then here we have Salad Rocket doing what Salad Rocket does at this time of year, which is make flower heads, <coughs> try to flower. So these you can eat the, the little bits, the little stems off, not the main stem. Uh, but there are also still quite a few leaves which are good to pick. They're not as big as the leaves that were happening before because the plant has gone into flowering mode. When plants switch to that um, thought, they the leaf size decreases but you still got a, a lot that you get more smaller ones and you get a stronger flavor in each leaf as well and then here we have the mustards so the different sorts of mustards still doing their thing they are still going on quite nicely and you can see their leaf size if anything since the last pick has increased quite a bit so there they know it's spring and they're not thinking of flowering just yet that's the red frills red dragon piso mustard so these all taste mustardy basically, but they're different varieties. And then at the back, we've got a, a different frilly one. It's a sort of half, it's the, oh, actually that is the Pisa. The other one was a different frills. So I'm gonna carry on picking and we'll see how much we harvest. That is the last plant I'm picking, the mustards. So I have here, well, hard to say there might be 300 grams, I reckon. I can confirm that later, but also I've got a nice bunch of coriander and that is from 10 days growth of the same plants which have been producing since November, they were sown in September and they will continue to grow. I'm not planning to feed these trays, um, but they're well filled with compost. They're feeling nice and heavy. And we're probably up for another month of harvest from these boxes. The bucket weighs 620, the salad weighs 950. So we have <coughs> 330 grams of salad leaves here from the 10 days growth. 